Hello everybody, my name is Merrick and welcome to my first Photoshop tutorial ever! Uh, today I'm going to show you exactly how you can draw Kita from do la 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 and um, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process on exactly how you can go about this. So, uh, let's see, I have a file somewhere. Ah, here we go. Uh, so I'm going to use this as my basis of sorts for the color scheme. Uh, so the first thing, first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to eaves uh, I drop dropity dap bat and gonna freaking color blotches of color everywhere, and it's gonna be pretty sweet. So we got his hair color here. So got that. Um, let's take this little shade of blonde. Freaking sexy beast. We're gonna put that all around. We're gonna put that all around here. All right, looking good so far. And we just take his face and just freaking splash out over the freaking place. Here we go. Oh, look at all that beautiful skin tone. Yeah, buddy. All right. Yep, you're gonna want to make sure you got all of this so that when it comes down to coloring later on, that you'll have. All of his main colors, and you'll be all set to go. So let's do this. Got his great hoodie, and I believe we are all. S oh, his eyes, dirt. How can I forget that? Ha, <laughs> my bad. All right, so I'm gonna take the light brown here, and for his eyes, just oh. I'm gonna create a new layer here. And then we're going to just friggin' start drawing away. Alright. So, how do you pronounce his name? It's Mishio Masayomi. One of my favorite characters from the anime. Alright, so he's got his beautiful hair here. And it's, oh god, looks friggin' tough. Um, let's, let's friggin' lessen the size of this brush by a couple. Doppel doop. Get it to black. And let's start working on the outline of Masayomi Kita. Alright, so as always, just like my other tutorial, but this is for Flash 8. But the base is still, is still the same. You want to start with a perfect circle. That is about as perfect as it's going to get, my friends. Head shape. But this time, oh, I'm going to freaking blow your minds. Alright, we're going to take half of this off. Oh my god. <laughs> we have a half circle. A half perfect circle. I have never seen a more perfect half circle in my life. We're gonna start on his hair now. We're just gonna get the get his main features down pat, you know. Get it accurate to the original. Let's get all of his hair down. It's looking pretty accurate. I mean if you put it side to side, I mean it's looking, yeah, yeah, it's looking, it's looking, looking really nice right now. Um, let's start on this end. We can fix that right there. Okay. All right. Get them spikes. Freaking Sonic the Hedgehog here. Let's go. Um, let's get his earring. We're going to put another spike there. He's got a... He's, one of my friends described him as having like one of those flat heads or hair hairstyles, yeah, hairstyles. So we're gonna try to capture that with this. Um, oh, that looks looks pretty good so far. Um, let's start working on his eyes. So you really want to capture the Durara style. So let's get those sharp edges here. And we're, like I said, we're just gonna color all of this later on. And we're gonna get his nose. I, by the way, I work in graphic design, by the way, guys, so uh, you're definitely going to want to pay attention as I go through this. Got to get his gorgeous mouth, all right. Uh, get his teeth. His tongue goes along the bottom. I'd say, you yeah, know, this, this is a good effort so far. Here. All right, now for his neck. All right. Yeah, it's about it's about that long. Um, all right, start getting the hoodie details. Yeah, 
yeah, he's one of my favorite characters, so I definitely want to do him justice by giving him a pretty great design here. So, hoodies are fun to draw. Um, all right. Okay, he's got pretty square looking shoulders, if you ask me. So, let's get those down there. His arms. All right, so far. It's not, it's, it's looking pretty freaking good if you ask me. Alright. Yeah. I'm liking this so far. Alright, good. Alright, put that back. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me. Alright. Start taking his skin tone. Press G, the shortcut for paint. Start coloring him in be sure to click a lot of times because you really want to make sure that you get this in oh whoops oh my bad ctrl out son i think that fixed it sweet okay um no we're just gonna like freaking just just take it take his brown we're gonna start getting it all into his eyes all right now the blonde Kind of like G, the G shortcut key. Let's start. Oh my bad. Um, freaking duck got it. All right, there we go. Just gotta take it nice and slow. And patience, patience is the key. Patience. We can do this. We're gonna do this together. All right. And oh yeah, his earring, his earring thing. So. I'm liking how this is turning out though. Um, gonna want to get his neck. There go. And his hoodie. I usually save the hoodie for last because I gotta get the, all the shading down, you know. It takes takes a lot of work, but um, it's gonna turn out really nice, all right. Um, I well, yeah, I can I can save the mouth for later. All right, so let's get some different shades of gray <laughs> um, let's, <laughs> let's get some shades in there start shading away at his hoodie there we go gotta flesh out the gray grayness of gray that's along his hoodie start to capitalize on the different hues of gray there we go okay looking good so far if you ask me um start getting the red mouth i i strongly suggest not using the um the 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 uh the paint the paint bucket oh the bucket the bucket i strongly suggest not using the bucket for a lot of this i prefer to just color it in myself I think it looks a lot better, but if you want to, you can, you know, just, just do, just do that. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, there you go. That's why I don't use the freaking paint bucket, you doof. So we're gonna have to cancel that out now. And we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. But if you've been following along, it should look something along these lines here. All right, let's start adding some additional detail to his eyes. Make sure that's black. Add some brown in there too, because why the frick not? Pretty sure his original art had brown somewhere. Somewhere. And um, we're gonna wanna fill in the blanks of the black. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, his eyebrow game is on fleek. Add his nostrils here. And then we're gonna put him in a specific pose to really capitalize on his personality. So let's draw some arms for him. And put him 
fingertips. You know, I'll, I'll add all the details later on, but um, he's basically going to say, um, Sup, boob -alicious. There we go. Okay. Alright, I'm liking how this is... Uh, you know, I'm really proud of how this turned out in the end. You know, this is, this is something I'm very proud to present. I think... Everyone will. I think everyone really loves Do Ra Ra, Do Ra 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 as a as a TV or a anime, and I really wanted to do the show justice by giving one of my favorite characters from season one. He doesn't play that big of a role in season two, but I want to give him a really nice piece of artwork. So, all right, we're gonna save. I'm gonna save this out as a uh, as a PNG. And we're gonna call it right. Say okay, and then we're going to open this up in my folder. All right, we're gonna open up the file, and here we are. All right, thanks for following the tutorial. I really hope that this helped you guys draw uh, in the likeness of the do -ra, ra series um you know if you if your image if your drawing didn't turn out quite like this you know just just keep working at it um <clears throat> you know you'll get there with practice just keep going back to the video you know for reference and it should look something like this all right so thanks for watching the video guys and i hope that you look forward to uh the next video in my series so i will see you all around and deuces Son.